Hello, everybody. I'm live. Everybody is everywhere. That's okay. And it is time for another live plan with me where I am attempting to survive my life right now. I'm, I'll fill you in on how this last week has gone. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing this next week is going to end with May. It's the first, I think, on Saturday. So quite early, you know, to do a May spread. But I'm out of room in my April part of my journal. So it's going to be a May spread. So I'm going to do it a little differently than I've been doing. I've got a new weekly layout I'm going to try out that is specifically geared towards the fact that my life is is hell right now. <laughs> we are basically in the gauntlet of listing the house, looking at offers on the house, putting an offer on a new house. So like we're in that gauntlet now and it's probably going to be like a three week long gauntlet. We are down from the first week of it. So we'll see how it all goes. But I'm glad to see you all. If you are here on the live, let me know you can hear me okay in the comments. And if you are here on the uh, replay, then let me know in the comments there as well. Good to see you all. Let's flip to my bullet journal. And we've got the kitten cam this week, but it is... Uh, you don't have as much participation. I don't. Loki is hanging out with Jesse right now. And so currently we've got Lulu up in the top of the tree. You just bend that up. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, Lulu's up at the top of the tree. Loki may show up, but right now he's hanging out with Jesse. No, we're not getting offers yet, Carrie, but we haven't listed yet. We're allegedly listing at the end of this week. So that is the story. All right. So this is going, this is in my May setup. If you haven't watched that yet, uh, you can find it. It's a couple videos back, but it's a Weeping Willow situation. And I actually decided to branch out a little bit from my color scheme for this week so i'm still using the green one of the bright greens that is in my color scheme but i wanted to bring some grays into it i have a, i have an idea we're going to see if this idea works but so i'm going to be i've linked these and like mentioned them in the comments so the green i'm going to use is the light green 171 from pit artist pens and then i have a couple of grays from pit artist pens warm gray one and warm gray three 270, 272, and then I have the gray, I think the color is platinum, Zig Dot, uh, clean color dot pen, because I really wanted to try this out in my bullet journal, and this seems like a good week for it. It's gonna be a very simple layout, but it just, it needs to be. And rather than use a fine liner, I'm going to use my Energel Clena. I've got my 03 and my 05. I'm gonna try one of those out this week. So we're just doing some different things, but it's gonna be a very busy week, and you'll understand when I explain, you know? <clears throat> Also, I'm drinking a ginger ale, so you might get the burps. Oh, I'm glad you like the willow, you guys. Kitty health update. Oh, he's doing okay. We haven't, we are still deciding on which prescription food we're going to use for him. And currently the biggest issue with the cats has nothing to do with his health and more to do with having them hiding when we are showing the house. We already had to, I'll, I'll, I'll explain. This has been a very interesting week. So I already have an idea of what I want to do. The first thing I want to do is move my dailies to this side and my to-do list here. And instead of dividing my to-do list, I'm just going to do one big one because I have no idea. I have a lot of work to do this week. I didn't work hardly. I didn't hardly work at all last week. I barely looked at my bullet journal because Monday, Monday we got the news that we were going to begin our house photographed on Thursday, which we weren't expecting for another week. But because of the way the inspections are lining up, because of how busy things are, um, the photography came first, which means I had to drop everything I was doing and get this house spick and span and ready for listing. And I'm going to do a video where I talk kind of about that based on my first time going through this. That's going to be coming up in another week or two. But um, the point is, is I basically was cleaning this house up and down from dawn to dusk. And then we had photos on Thursday. Kat also got their first dose of the vaccine on Tuesday as well, which is great. <clears throat> anyway, Jamie, planner experimentation can be nerve wracking, if you, especially if you are set in your ways and you want to try something new, but you're afraid it's going to suck ass. What I have learned is what Madi says, right? Like if it's a bullet journal, you can always just turn your page. And if it's not, then you can make do with it or you can always bust out the old notepad if your planner looks like hot garbo to you for that week. So what I'm doing here is for the top, I'm gonna use this green. 
And I'm just gonna make a like a row, a green row. I'm gonna try and erase these pencil marks because I'm purposefully using the pale green. Purposefully. Shit, two, one, two, yeah, okay. And I don't remember how far apart these are. I think these are 14 uh, dots each. I'm, I did the counting earlier today. I was kind of looking around on Instagram to see if I could get, because I have not had the chance to even think about my bullet journal this week. And so I was looking around on Instagram to see if I could think of like inspiration for this week's layout. And I wasn't really finding any. And what I realized was that um, I'm going to need more space than in these previous layouts. There's a lot of unused space here and I need to use up some more of that space this week. It's going to be one of those weeks. However, um, oh fuck, where is it right here? Yes. However, I don't need to, uh, <clears throat> what I need is just a little extra space. So that's what I'm doing. How are they doing the showings? Um, scheduled. We're not doing an open house or anything like that. They're going to be, uh, scheduling them. And our biggest situation is going to be what, where the cats are going to be. And so we're working on that. We're hopefully going to see if they can live their best life or at least their, live their tolerable life with a friend while the showings are happening. <clears throat> Hi, Julie. If you hate it, you put some craft paper in it, Kendra. Yeah, see, I'm just like, I'm just like fucking free ball it. Give it a fucking try. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. You can always just make a to-do list and like ignore your planner, which is what generally speaking, if I hate a planner layout I've done or back when I was doing the, the fuckery plan with me and my Aaron Condren or whatever, if it was so fucked up that I like literally could not, um, if I could literally like not use it, like it was just too messed up for it to be of use for me, I would just make a to-do list. Like I, the old faithful to-do list has never done me dirty, man. So I'm totally fine with that. And yes, I'm leaving these dots until I make the line because I am so... My brain is so all over the place right now, you guys. So yeah, like I said, I had to get the house ready. Kat had to get their first dose of the vaccine. Kat also had physical therapy this last week. There was just so much. There was so much happening. And then on Thursday afternoon, after I got Kat to their physical therapy and we got back, I basically pooped out for the next two days. Did not get out of bed. Did not really eat much because I just couldn't. I was too nauseated. It was a hot mess, you guys. And now this week we have to finish some last minute projects, you know, before the, the home inspector and the roof inspector and the pest inspector and all that's happening this weekend. And um, the showings are supposed to start this weekend as well. So wish me luck, man. So I don't know if there's going to be a live plan with me next weekend. I have a tentative one scheduled, but it's extremely tentative because I cannot guarantee what's going to be happening in this house. Is that right? Did I? Is everything spaced right? For some reason it looks wrong to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It just looks weird because there's nothing down here. That's why. Okay. And then yeah. Oh, thank you, Kendra. <laughs> but yeah. I, you ran, when I was in college, my caffeination of sores, of my caffeine, like, situation that kept me going was, uh, um, Earl Grey tea, no lie. I would just brew the shit out of some strong ass Earl Grey tea when I was, uh, in college. That was my method of staying up super late until I stayed up for an all-nighter to study for a chemistry final. And then when I sat in the chemistry final, I was so tired that when I thought I was writing formulas, what I really wrote was the lyrics to Strawberry Fields Forever. And I was like, okay, maybe the all-nighter wasn't worth it. 
And then when I was walking back to the dorm, I remembered that there was a bed in one of the bathrooms in one of the English buildings. And so I was like, okay, I am going to, uh, I am going to see what is going on with this bed. And I wound up falling asleep and almost sleeping through my biology final. I only had half an hour of the two hour period, but thankfully my advanced biology course in high school was basically the same class. And I skated through the class and I skated through the final and didn't flunk it. But that was the end of my all nighters for that purpose. Cause I realized I just, I, it was not the business for me. So yeah. <sighs> Currently drinking a London Fog, Karen. Nice. I ordered my Mother's Day present. Jesse hopes my Mother's Day present is going into contract on a house. But in case that doesn't work, my Mother's Day present I ordered for myself is a matcha uh, shaker set and some matcha tea from David's Tea because I want to make some matcha lattes for myself. All right. So... What I think I'm going to do is instead of dots, I'm going to use the dot pen because that to me is interesting but first I'm going to write down the days and the weather and I'm trying to decide if I want to use the trying to decide if I want to use the 03 or the 05 for this I'm thinking the 03 because I want it to still have a very like clean look and the smaller it is so I'm going to just write Monday here but sometimes I find when I use a smaller pen, my hand shakes more and I don't like it as much. I think I'm going to use the 03. All right. Oh, so you're curious. You said Kat got the shot. Yes. So Kat got their first dose. They got Pfizer. They get their second dose right um, in, you know, four weeks. RJ is not old enough to yet. They are only vaccinating 16 and up. Technically, we, well, not technically, but like we probably could have lied because it, and fudged our like birth certificate identification because he looks like he's like a baby faced 21 with his mustache and he's like six foot three, but no, we did not. So Kat, we're going to wait till they uh, open it up to the lower age of teenagers if that happens before he turns 16 next year. But Kat is 17, so they were old enough. That opened up to all, everybody 16 and up in the U.S. And see, I love the carbonation. The carbonation is my favorite part of soda. Like, it's not the sugar. It is the sugar. <laughs> and the caffeine, but the, the, the bubbles, that's the best part. All right, so what day is Monday? Monday is the 26th, yes? 26th, Monday. Twenty seven. Tuesday, I'll come back and do the weather. 28th, Wednesday. Does anybody else besides me still say Wednesday? Like when you're spelling it in your head? Wednesday in February. Thirtieth is Friday. First is Saturday. And the second is Sunday. All right. My handwriting is all over the place today, you guys. You say Island. Wednesday, February. And it's the same when I'm trying to, like, figure out the, uh, the, the, the directions. I still say never eat shredded wheat to be. I know there's also, like, never eat soggy waffles or whatever, but I was taught never eat shredded wheat, which always bother me because I like shredded wheat. So... <laughs> Um, but that's what I say to figure out the directions. And then this is going to be for my meal plan. Ooh, nice. Tickets to see Cinderella on the West End over the summer and happy birthday. 
Yeah, I don't drink diet soda either. It gives me migraines. Even Splenda. And I've heard for some people who are sensitive to like sucralose, Splenda doesn't bother them. But for me, Splenda is enough to set me off into a migraine as well. All right. So weather. So it's raining. Well, it was raining. It's not raining now, but it's been raining a little bit this afternoon here. But it's supposed to get warm again this week. Which is good because then we can air the house out. And thankfully, the showings will come off of a week where there was no teenagers in the house. So there won't be any teenage funk to air out. <laughs> Am I right, though, Jess? Uh, yeah, when you're right, you're right. And I am right. Is it teenage funk like Uptown Funk? Teenage funk you Unfortunately, up? Unfortunately, it, it, it sticks with you <laughs> the same, but it's not quite as catchy. The nice part about a tiny little pen is you can make tiny little weather doodles. Nice, just the fan girl. Pork gives you migraines, bacon and ham, but not sausage. <clears throat> okay, where am I at? Friday. Cloudy. Ooh, do we have kitties now? Is there a kitty there? There's a kitty in the kitty cam. Theoretically. Theoretical kitty. Let's see here. Not sure if I ever played my hand. Is he gonna leave? Did you piss him off? Why would you do that? Shh. <laughs> it's for the likes. It's for the likes. He's doing it for the gram. Is oh my he god. Frame? He they, he's barely in frame and so is Loki. I mean, Lulu. I know which cat is which. I can't even tell my kids apart half the time. I'd love to know if the dual kitty cam is as satisfying as the singular kitty cam. Well, they're farther away. They're harder to see. Yeah. If, if I were watching a kitty cam. You would prefer a focused in on one kitty? I would. I think the close camera would be more satisfying. So Debbie, is coffee black, no sugar? Is that coffee black? Because coffee regular is coffee with two sugars and cream, right? Jesse educated me on the New York coffee a while back, and I just don't remember it all now. I know that there's coffee regular. I also learned about it from watching, uh, oh fuck, what is that movie? It's John Travolta and the baby, the Bruce Willis baby. Look, Look who's talking. talking. Thank you. Uh, what? Sorry. Okay, so there's my my Alistair method situation. And instead of drawing a line, I'm going to do dots. Well, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to decorate in a minute, but I'm going to put stuff in it first because I don't want to decorate till I start putting stuff in it. Milk and two sugars is coffee regular. Yes. Okay. Black means black. Two sugars. Wait, so if you ask for black coffee, you get coffee with two sugars in it? My sister, okay, wait, Mikey, my sister finds monk fruit pretty inexpensively at the grocery outlet. Just giving you the heads up on that. If that is something that you, I saw the conversation about monk fruit happening. You say black, no sugar. Okay, I see. That's a good way to make sure that you're clear. You'd hate to get that wrong. You were trapped on a plane with a look who's talking marathon. No. Your son's wife just delivered a perfect set of three identical little girls. Oh my God, Chrissy, congratulations. Triplets. My, my, my. <laughs> All right. So Monday I have a call. I'm just going to dot in. I have, I made a list ahead of time knowing that I was going to have some shit going on. So three, four, five. Okay. 
So that's what I'm doing instead of bullets is I'm going to be dotting with the Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. Is light and sweet another way you can order it in New York, Deb? Because, like, here, if you're going to order coffee, you say, I'd like a coffee with cream and two sugars. There's no, like, code. It's just coffee. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not ordering any perfect foods this week. I do have to put on my list to, uh, to pause it, um, Jessica, because uh, we'll be in Denver. Plan... Inbox, upload, hangout, so don't forget. I don't put eggnog in my coffee, Katie, but I don't put eggnog in my body. I think eggnog is nasty. So <laughs> there is that. Okay. Um, okay, Karen, what's a double double? Oh, I did not do that's the potassium. Two patties, two cheese, right? Uh, that's yeah. Double double in California is you get, you get your hamburger, you get two patties, two cheese from, um, in and out and you get a four by four, which is even bigger. Jess, would you get my potassium for me? I totally for forgot to take it. And I told my patrons I'd take it after the hangout and I forgot. <laughs> and I was just reminded by Cinema Dave Media. So thank you. <laughs> the dot markers are expensive. I'm not gonna lie, which is why I'm trying to use them. I bought them so I could review them. And now I feel like I need to use them. They're very handy, but they're also like, you don't need them. You can make dots with regular markers. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. My massive potassium pill. So should I close crop one of the kitties mm -hmm. the camera? Yeah. Okay. Double shots of coffee? Two sugar, two cream. Oh, that's what double double is in Canada. Two sugar, two cream? Yeah, double double in California is from In and Out. And then you get it's uh two patties, two cheese. And then you get uh Animal style, which is the pile of like onions and like creamy shit. I don't get that. RJ does though. RJ thinks animal style is delicious. I think animal style is, looks like fucking vomit. All right. What do we got on Tuesday? One, two, three, four, five, five items on Tuesday thus far. And there's still room for me to put other items down as well. I'm just trying to kind of think ahead. I like how this is looking though. It's very like clean. <sighs> You're so patient. In-N-Out animal style is the only fast food you get. See, I prefer my In-N-Out order. It makes me sound like such a wimp, but it's my favorite way to get it. And that is a double-double with just ketchup and mustard. So you get the bun, the two patties, the two cheese, and ketchup and mustard, and that's it. And then fries and a Dr. Pepper. I'm not supposed to have dark sodas, but I will get a Dr. Pepper at In-N-Out. Loki looks so concerned. <laughs> yeah, I love In-N-Out. In-N-Out is so delicious. Okay, so what do we have? We have a call. I need to do the comments for my video going up that day. I've re I, I tested out uploading at two. I don't like it. I thought that it would be easier for me to respond to comments, but I just spend the day waiting for my, like, I'm not, I'm doing other things, but like, I just prefer uploading in the morning. Cause then I can get it done. I can answer comments then. And throughout the day where I by two, I can answer comments, but I'm usually like, I have patron hangouts at two. I've got, uh, cat now has physical therapy in the afternoons. Like it's just too much. So that's just, that's just too much.
Speaking of which, if you are a patron, our live this week is going to be an hour long instead of half an hour long because of me missing it last week because of the wackiness that came with um, the house situation. So I have to take Kat to physical therapy on Tuesday and I need to remember to bring check because they let us know what the co-pays would be and I need to pay them because I wasn't going to start sending it in until I knew what it was. Okay. Wednesday. I've never been to White Castle, but I will say that the, uh, the frozen ones, the little onions. The, okay, so here's the thing, you guys. I don't like onions at all but I will cook with onions for the love of my family. I've started doing it more. Jesse is very grateful, right? But the little chopped up onions on the burgers, I cannot do. When I was a kid and my mom would go get us hamburgers. Do you guys remember when hamburgers at McDonald's were like 99 cents or whatever, or 50 cents, you could buy like a satchel of hamburgers. We were poor. And so sometimes that's how my mom would feed us. And I'd ask her to ask them for no onions, but my mom... I guess thought that it was not nice to ask fat fast food restaurants to like make special requests. So she'd get them with the onions anyway, like the chopped up fucking onions and give me a butter knife to scrape them off. And that bothered me so much. So the pictures I've seen of the white castle burgers also have those little chopped up onions. And I'm sorry, but I, no amount of getting stoned will ever make me want to eat those. Two calls that day. So I'm going to finish my deep cleaning for the showings this weekend, except floors on Wednesday. I won't have to do a shit ton of it because we did most of it this last week, which is why I was so exhausted, but I'm going to need to go back through and do it again, but not do the floors until Thursday. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't do onions. Oh yeah, thanks Heather for answering Gabriel. Let me look really quick to see. Yes, Gabriel. Yeah, Kat, Kat, um, I would not say Kat's a fan of the physical therapy, but Kat is seeing at least a small amount of relief from it, like a small amount. But it is, I think Kat's also just relieved to be doing something about it. So there's also that. Thursday. One, two, three, five. I got five on Thursday. Two, three, four. Five. And like I said, this is going to get filled out throughout the week. There will be more. There will be more. And I tried to make it so that there'd be enough room to add more on the other side if necessary, but I don't think my writing is small enough for that. So I guess we'll find out. Yeah, no, I can't. I think onions are, are... So, Rosie, I'm using a Zig Clean Color Dot Marker in the color platinum. It's the gray, basically. Yeah, no, I'm not... I'm not... Um, I'm not a fan of onions in general. The taste doesn't bother me that much. I can cook... The one thing I do hate is when Jesse puts onion powder and scrambled eggs. It's way too oniony for me. I do not like. No, thank you. Garlic powder and scrambled eggs. Thank you very much. But... Um, but if I cook with onions, generally they have to be big enough that I can pick them out. And since if I'm cooking or they have to be blended in, like if I'm making a soup, um, so generally speaking, if I'm cooking, I can control like the onion size and amount. And so I'm okay with it. But on like fast food, no thank you. And the funny thing is, is that Kat loves the shit out of onions. Kat used to pick up a raw onion and bite into it like it's an apple. Fucking nasty. And I said so to Kat's face. Oh, 
Okay, deep clean floors. Baking soda, fours, floors. And then I may not have to take Cat on Thursday though. Dad should be able to, but I'm putting it on here just in case because the last thing I want is to be surprised with having to go pick up my kid because they live across town and all of the medical and dental offices are on our side of town. So it's like drive across town, get the kid, drive back, drop them off, pick them up, drive them back across town, drive home. So there's that. Okay, so Friday, fun fact, I don't know if you guys have been, have I kept you abreast of my wedding certificate drama. I don't know. I've kept my patrons abreast of my wedding certificate drama, but I don't know if I've told you guys about it or not. So no, I don't do onion rings. No, thank you. No, 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 no. That's like eating like a battered big onion. No, if I'm going to eat something battered, it's going to be like, you know, fish, like fish and chips <laughs> or tempura fried Oreos or tempura fried shrimps or temper fried, uh, what else? What else is fried that I, like anything dipped in fucking chicken, but not onions. No, thank you. No, thank you. Cat also eats what he would also eat, uh, raw garlic as well. It's like, it's so gnarly. Okay. Wedding certificate. So here's the story. First, let me count. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six six items on Friday. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you all know that tempura fried Oreos are goddamn good. You have no idea. Our favorite sushi restaurant does them as part of a dessert. They tempura fry the Oreos and serve it with vanilla bean ice cream and whipped cream and hot fudge on top. And the Oreos are still warm. If they call it the Oreo mountain, it is so goddamn delicious. Oh my God. Um, I eat the shit out of garlic, just not raw. So, um, so the wedding certificate situation. Okay. So you guys know that I have been collecting up all of the, um, vital records here in California for when we move, because my kids and I were all born here in California. My first marriage was here in California. <laughs> Um, we just, when we, and especially right now with COVID getting your hands on the vital records is a little bit more complicated. I was able to order some of them online, but others of them I had, I had, well, okay, I'll explain in a second. So I needed to get, um, I needed to get my, uh, my, let's say kids home on Friday. I needed to get my my, both of my kids, because apparently no matter how often I get my hands on birth certificates, I just run through them. Like, you know, use them for sports and for shit like that. I just am terrible, apparently, at keeping, keeping them together. When we move, I'm getting a fucking safe and I'm just putting them all in there so that they're always in one spot. But for right now, I had to go get copies. So I was able to order cats and I, my kids and I, each kid and I were all born in separate counties and my ex-husband and I were married in a different county. So four different counties of vital records. And in California, you can order most vital records from the state, except if they happened in between 2000 and 2008, something happened in those years where the state does something got messed up in those years. And the state does not have copies of those vital records. You have to get them from the individual counties. Just so happens my kids births and my marriage to my ex-husband were all in that range. And the reason I need my ex-husband our the wedding certificate is because I changed. That's when I changed my name. My name is still legally. I never changed my name to Gunter Baldo. It's my pen. It's my, my internet name, but it's not my legal name. Right? So, um, so, uh, So I was able to get my birth certificate and Kat's birth certificate via mail because they were able to send them quickly. RJ's birth certificate was going to take like three months. And so I made an appointment. That's the vlog I did to go pick up RJ's birth certificate. The vlog I did a few weeks ago. So that was to get his birth certificate, right? And then for my marriage license, I needed to, or for my marriage certificate, I needed to get it notarized, like my request notarized, which I did. And then the notary screwed up. So I had to go back and do it again. 
And then I get a call from them the day after I pick up RJ's birth certificate saying that they can't find our marriage certificate. Like it's not in the system. And they suggested we try the county that RJ was born in because that's where we lived at the time. And so we may have filed it there. And I can't remember. This is fucking hell a years ago, right? So they spelled his name wrong when they ran the check though. So I had them run it again. And once again, they told me not there, check in this other county, but I had just been there and now I have to go back. So that's what I'm doing on Friday to see if they have my, because currently I cannot find a record that I was ever married to my ex-husband, but I did. And I changed my name because my name is legally changed on all of my stuff, including my social security card, but I don't have the copy of it. And I need that in order to get a new driver's license. I need that in order to help my kids get ID cards. It has to, I need that because that is the proof of who I am. My, on my birth certificate and my kids' birth certificates with my maiden name to my legal name now. So yeah, I have to go on Friday while we are having a roof inspector here and while we are potentially going to be having showings, I need to take our only working car an hour and a half away. Oh, I didn't realize that. I told you. I mean... That's why I said you need to get your car in so that you get it fixed so that there's a working car or the kids are going to be walking home from school on Friday. And I have to get home in time because they have a dentist appointment at three. <laughs> and hopefully Friday is the day our listing goes up as well. So there is that. So I'm going to be hustling my little ass off because my kids have a dentist appointment at 3 p.m. And it's an hour and a half each way. And my appointment is at 11 a.m. So hopefully everything works out and there's not really heinous traffic or anything. And I think I'm going to need to do my sheets on Friday if we don't have a lot of appointments yet for listing. I mean for showings because that way they'll be clean. So yeah. I hate paper stuff too. Thankfully, this marriage certificate is the last one I need to get my hands on. I have my hands on everything else. And thankfully, Jesse's mom, his shit's all in New York anyway, but Jesse's mom is much more on top of things because she sent him to California with a pile of paperwork, which I have. So, and I have our marriage license and I have my divorce papers, but I don't have my marriage certificate to my ex-husband. <sighs> It is, Jane. That's why I, did, I haven't bothered. Okay, so Saturday, the only thing that I have on Saturday thus far I have, um, is that we have a inspector coming to do our house and pest inspections, and we'll probably have showings on Saturday, but they'll be scheduled around that. So I can't schedule anything else on Saturday because I don't know what... It, like, we basically need to leave the weekend open for showings which is why it's a very i'm not even going to put the live plan with me and hang out on sunday yet because until i get some more word from our realtor i don't know what's going to be going on there so but you guys like this so far this is like feeling very like pretty but not overly ridiculous so Does my ex have a copy? I don't want to ask him. Probably not, though. He didn't. He doesn't need it because he didn't change his name. He asked for his name back. Yeah, he did. When we got divorced, he asked for his name back. He thought that he could do that. He thought he could make the decision. He thought it was his choice as to what my name was at when we got divorced. Like, he legitimately thought that when we got divorced, he got to take his name back because it was his name. And I'm like, no, it's my name. It's my name. It's on all my documents. I'm the one who's going to have to go through it to change it. It's not you who gets to make the decision, my guy. I even talked to a lawyer about it because I was like, is he, am I like sniffing glue here? Is he right? And he's like, no, he's not right. So yeah, I have no idea. My meal plan for this week is so small. Like it's like grilled cheese 
And then I'm going to pick up oh, some... Oh, I bought cinnamon rolls. We could do that for a minute. Cinnamon meal. rolls. They said we're not supposed to cook a lot of, like, heavy-duty meats or anything over the next week to so keep the house... Rolls are meat. So the I'm going to have Jesse grill some chicken probably tomorrow when but I... I can grill outside. That's not in the house. That doesn't count. I know. And then dinner salads. And that's all I've got on our meal plan, Jess. We are just going to sort of half-ass our way through food this week because food is not our priority. I'm just saying. All right. So, yeah. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, no, mine and our, we never, we like all of our custody, like it was a very non-contested divorce. We were both happy. We had been separated. We didn't actually get divorced until he wanted to marry his um, now wife because it was easier for like health insurance and everything else to just do it that way. And so like, it's not like our divorce was super contentious. We wrote our own custody agreement and everything else, but that was just one of the, the few, the one big hang up was the name. Okay. So, um, I did not want to change it back. No, I wanted to keep the same last name as my kids just because I, I had heard of other people running into, um, running into problems with like the schools or whatever when they didn't have the same last name as their kids. So I just didn't want to worry about any of that. So I just kept the same last name as them. All right. So what I'm going to do for my Instead of drawing a line for my Alistair method, I am gonna use the dots, which I usually have the bullets, but I'm gonna just draw the dots for. And I have a, several things I wanna put on here. What do I have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Items so far, and I know that there's more, but this is just off of my little brain dump this morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that looks okay. I don't think I need to draw a line. You see what I'm saying? I don't need to draw a line to like delineate that. I don't think I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Our uncontested divorce ran about 400 bucks as well, Deb. Um, okay, so what do I have? So kids laundry, which is actually going to be something I will probably be doing throughout the week because I can't run laundry while Jesse's working during laundry, laundry. I cannot fucking, that's like a, here, I'm going to bring this in so you can see laundry. It's a new word. It's a new way to say laundry, laundry, L L A U N R I Jesse. That's the new way to spell laundry is laundry. You say so, babe. Um, uh, our washer and dryer are in the garage, and Jesse is also working in the garage. And so, and our washer and dryer are not the quietest machines in the world. So I need to not do laundry when he is working. So it's going to be in the evenings, but I need to remember that I'm doing it because I, I go to bed pretty early because of how crappy I feel in the evenings. And so I need to at least make sure the shit is in the dryer before I go to bed so I can fold it in the morning. Normally my kids handle their own laundry, but we want to make sure it's all done so that there's no teenager funkiness in their bedrooms when we show this weekend. And please note, my children are clean. They're not like nasty, but teenagers are gross. So there is that. Like I was a gross teenager, you know? There's different like layers of gross. And so I'm gonna put Skip and Perfect Foods here so I can do that tomorrow. And then I'm doing the same with every plate, but I'm not going to put it on my daily because that is not too much, not enough room. Um, and then I gotta make, get another phone call in. Instagram planning. Post a reels on Instagram. 
still feels so fucking weird to do those. Change out soaps and... Air out house. Thankfully, it's going to be nice enough. And then I have some patron bonus content I want to get done this week. For when I'm, it's like I'm working on some stuff ahead of time so that when I'm gone for moving, I have stuff I can upload to my patrons. Okay, there's going to be a lot more. I just, this is a start for my to-do list. And so now what I need to do is I want to put week, what week is it? Week number 17, question mark, week 17 on here. And what I want to do is do the weeping willow, but I don't want it to be like this colorful. I want it to be really like stepped back. And so I think, let's see here, that might be too light. Or maybe the pen of this, that might be the way to do it too. I don't know. Maybe I should go with the lightest one. Nice, Carly. And like, I'll tell you, some weeks when I'm not, like if I'm not doing live or whatever, I just need to do it quick and dirty. It takes me a lot less time. But, um, and the part of the reason I have all of this info is because it's already on my calendar. Okay. So what I want to do is, let's try this. Draw a line. Okay. I don't know how well you can see it. It's very light. Let me see if I can turn my light down a little bit. Can you see it there? That one line? And then what I want to do... So it's very, very light. This is too light, but I'm just going to do it anyway. No, you know, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go with the darker color. We're going to go with this gray. I'm just going to go over it. Yeah, that shows up better. So instead of making them all wobbly and arty looking, I want this to look a little bit more stylized. For the willows to give it the same look as the rest of the bullet journal setup, but not the exact same look. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm just staggering them and I'm not changing size or anything. I'm just, I'm just drawing them. All right, and then we'll draw. Yeah, that looks cool. That's the, that's the look I was going for. You see what I'm saying? I don't want it to be colorful. I just want it to be. And so what I'm gonna do, I think, is do another one and another one and another one and then do one down completely but over the top of it have like a brick or something, the same green maybe, and put week 17 on it. Does that make sense? Like I'm trying to be very simple here. Like I love, I love this. I love how like sketchy in children's book this looks, but I, my weekly spreads, I have decided, especially after this last month with all, I have to fill my fucking steps in. I got so many steps this last week, you guys, like 20 K steps, swear to God. Um, the very like simplicity of these weekly layouts. I really like that. I love like the kind of chaotic monthly spreads, but for my weekly layouts, I really just need it to be calming so that I don't feel all over the place. Does that make sense? All right, so let's do another one. I don't want to have these too close together either. So two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five here. One, two, three, four, five, here. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
let's try this. It's also proof that you don't need to be like super complicated or super fancy. And I mean, also, you don't have to add like a lot of detail work for shit to look like cool. You know what I mean? You don't have to have it look exactly like the thing you're trying to draw. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Like the doodle book that I'm putting out that's coming out in June. This is not meant to be like a fucking hashtag marketing for my doodle book. But what I'm saying is that the whole point of that doodle book is that you don't need to be an expert artist to be able to doodle because um, it just needs to get like, you just need to kind of get the idea of it. Do you know what I mean? Deb, if we could have you borrow Loki, I'd totally have you do it just to like get him out of the house while we're having showings. When we did the photography, uh, the cats were in the garage with Jesse with all of their shit, like their cat box and their tree. Yeah, they were the background on all of my calls. Lucy jumped on the fridge during one of my TV meetings. <laughs> I feel like my, my vines don't look exactly the same, but whatevs. Okay. And I think I'm going to skip this one and just do the big one. All right. All right. So where is it going to go? Kind of down the center, right here, maybe? Yeah. Okay. And so then what I'll do is I'll take that same green. I purposefully picked like the lightest green. I almost went with the gray for these headers when I was originally thinking about this spread, but I think this is, this green is the right color for this, right? Week, was it 17? Is that what we said, 14? Yeah, 17. Week 17. I'm just sort of estimating where these would have been and drawing like the little end pieces, the ends and pieces off the sides. So it looks like the box is in front of it.
And I think that's going to be my setup. It's very simple, but it's also very like functional for what I need this week. You'll note I don't have my blood pressure on here. I'm just, I'm going to be realistic with myself. I'm not going to have like the time or the fucks to do my blood pressure this week. Like I just, I know that. So I'm just not going to hold myself to that particular standard. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like though, this is unbalanced. And I don't want to do another long one. Michelle, you should do this in your bullet journal. I mean, you can. Like, this does not require any talent. It just requires paying attention, which I didn't do a great job of, but... I feel like it's good enough. It's good enough, and I'm not going to add, because I feel like if anything I add here is just going to piss me off. You think this is my favorite, your, your favorite that I've done, Jess? And you've been here for a lot of them, so... Yeah, my blood pressure is going to be through the roof if I'm stressed out. And if I'm taking it, it's just going to make me feel a bit worse. I'm generally fairly good at assessing my body to know whether my blood pressure is in a bad place. So I will take it if I feel like I need to. But I'm not going to hold myself to checking it all week. Because I just, I, it's, it's just going to be something I'm going to fail at. And I don't feel like adding failure to this when I'm already feeling very fail heavy. So... But yeah, so this is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, like I said, I do not know if I will be having a live plan with me this next weekend. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed and watching the community tab because that's where I'll tell you if I'm going to do it. I will probably know by Friday if I will be able to do it or not. And I will make sure to put it in the community tab in case you would like to know. All right. I hope you have a phenomenal week, you guys, or at least you have a decent week. Take care of yourselves, wash your hands, do all of those good things, and I will see you next time. Wish me luck. Let's hope that we survive this week without murdering each other or anybody else. All right?